Hello, and welcome to our origami dress activity. My name is Jesus Najera, and I'm a My Brother's Keeper Library Assistant with Alicante Library. Today, I would like to show you how to create your own origami dress. The materials you'll be needing for this program is an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper. The first step is to fold the paper vertically in half, also known as hot dog style. You want to make sure that the fold is straight as possible. You can grab the corners to assist you lining up the fold. The second step is to open the sheet of paper and fold one side to the center crease. You want to make sure that fold is lined up with the center crease as straight as possible. The next step is to fold the other side of the paper to the center crease. Since I'm right-handed, I will rotate the sheet of paper to make the fold easier on myself. But you can fold the paper in whichever direction you would like. Your paper should look like this at this point. We're going to open the sheet of paper and flip it to the other side. You will notice that there are two creases sticking up. We are going to grab one of the creases and fold it to the center line. We are going to fold the other crease and fold it to the center. Again, I'm going to rotate the sheet of paper to make the fold easier on myself. Your paper should look like this at this point. Next, flip the paper to the other side. Grab the bottom of the paper and fold it about three quarters away from you. Next, grab the bottom of the paper again and fold it about finger width toward you. This is what your paper should look like at this point. Here is a side view of the folds we just made. Next, flip the paper to the other side. Place one finger on the center fold, then grab one of the bottom corners and flare outwards. Hold the middle and top creases from the flare. We are going to repeat the same process to the other side. Place one finger to the center fold then, grab the other bottom corners and flare outwards. Then, fold the middle and top creases from the flare. This is what your paper should look like at this point. Next, flip the paper to the other side. Grab the top of the paper and fold it two-thirds of the way down of the next fold. Once again, we are grabbing the top of the paper and folding it two-thirds of the way down of the next fold. Grab one of the corners from the fold we just created and flare it outwards. You'll notice that it will create a triangular shape. Once you see the shape forming, go ahead and fold it down on the bottom and top. You know you did it correctly when you see the triangle at the corner. We are going to repeat the same process on the other side. Grab the other corner and flare it outwards. Once you see the triangular shape forming, fold it down. This is how your paper should look like up to this point. Rotate the paper 90 degrees. 
grab this portion of the paper and begin folding it towards you. You'll notice that I'm only folding down the horizontal section only. We are leaving the top section unfolded for now. Now that we have our horizontal section folded down, fold down the unfolded section until you see a triangular shape forming. Grab the remaining top section and fold it towards you so that there is one diagonal line meeting the horizontal section. Your paper should look like this at this point. Rotate the paper and repeat the previous steps to this side. Grab this portion of the paper and begin folding it towards you. You'll notice that I'm only folding down the horizontal section only and leaving the top section unfolded for now. Now that we have our horizontal section folded down, fold down the unfolded section until you see a triangular shape forming. Grab the remaining top section and fold it towards you so that there is one diagonal line meeting the horizontal section. This section should be folded to mirror the opposing side. This is what your paper should look like at this point. The final steps are to grab the top tabs and fold it perpendicular to the vertical line you'll notice that the fold will create a triangular shape. We will repeat the same step to the other tab. This is what your paper should look like at this point. Go ahead and flip it over and look at your finished origami dress. You can make minor adjustments to the top tabs so that they mirror each other. This origami dress activity was inspired by the book Fancy Party Gowns, the story of fashion designer Anne Colo by Deborah Blumenthal. We hope you enjoyed our origami dress activity. Click the link in the description box for our survey and upcoming programs. It would be very helpful if you can give us your feedback on our survey. This helps us figure out what other type of programming we can offer you all. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell for easy access to new videos. Bye for now.